Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to a brand new series. I'm going to start doing um, a little bit on the side from my regular tutorial series on extra tools from like outside of just Game Maker that you can use to help you out making games. So stuff that might be able to help you out with graphics or um, sound or anything like that that's either free or reasonably affordable for like a, a single developer or a very small group of developers that might be very useful if you like to take part in game jams or it's just generally good for you to be aware of. So there's loads of really awesome like game development tools out there. Um, part of the reason I started this channel in the first place was to kind of give more exposure to Game Maker, so I felt like not enough people really kind of knew about it or used it enough. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start doing this sort of side series to cover other awesome like extra little tools and things that can help you out making games and uh, give them some more exposure as well. So recently I spoke to the developer of this piece of software, Auto Tile Gen, about um, the idea of me doing a tutorial video for, for his software and showing, um, showing you guys how to integrate it with Game Maker. Um, he was more than happy for me to do this and provided me with a copy of the software so I could do that. Uh, this isn't that video, um, this is just going to be a quick uh, first impressions video because I haven't I've I've been using it a little, but I I haven't really like learned everything about the program yet, so I don't really feel confident enough to do a, a straight up tutorial yet. Um, but that's something I'll be doing in the very near future. I'm showing you guys how to like use this with Game Maker like step by step with the 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 kind of workflow. Um, but this video, we're just going to kind of take a look at what this software is and what it does and how it might be useful to you. So this, as I said before, is Auto Tile Gen. It's a piece of software designed to help you make tile sets, you know, if you remember back from my tutorial on automated wall tiles and stuff like that. Um, this is a piece of software that allows you to basically make all 48 or 47, depending how you look at it, um, tiles that you need for uh, a complete, like, tile set that works in, like, all based on, like, eight directions around you, um, just based off of essentially, like, three images, like, the main sort of tiling piece in the middle, like, the the uh, the caps on the top and bottom, the caps on the left and the right, and then you can automatically generate or even generate at the pix work at the pixel level, and modify um, masks uh, like alpha masks that create like a kind of like the the blending around the edges and stuff, and will actually blend the corners and stuff into one another by itself, and will automatically create the tile set for you just from like three images, so you only have to make a very small number of images compared to making all 47 yourself. Um, I went ahead and kind of tested this in a very kind of loose, not per very good test kind of way, by just kind of throwing in some of the tiles from another perspective, um, like the main tile and the, the tile with the top and the bottom, the tile on the left and right, just to kind of see how it would react to that. Now it's it's generated it and it's like I'm pretty impressed with what it actually managed to just sort of pull out of nowhere. Um, but it's like it, it's a little bit flawed because I haven't I haven't messed around with these, all these options. But um, and I also don't feel like the software is necessarily designed to handle um, super high resolution like tile sets. That that sort of stuff you're much better off kind of crafting like finally by yourself. That said, I'm still very impressed with with what it's done with with my tile set. Um, like it would have saved me loads of time if I'd have had the software back then to have just made like these three images and then just been able to like export this tile set and then just clean it up in Photoshop myself. Um, that would have saved me a ton of time and effort. But um, generally it's much, it, it's very very well designed for doing um, pixel tile sets. So like stuff that's like 16 by 16 or probably at most like 32 by 32. Um, just because then you can make use of a lot of the stuff like the different uh, blend modes and stuff that will look and work a lot better at Im with images that are way lower resolution. Um, there's like all these different like corner blend modes that you can do that like blend like the corners into one another. They don't work very well with this tile set just because of like how it is or whatever. This tile set as well isn't built for like auto tile gen really. As I said I just kind of slapped it in as an interesting test just to sort of see how it would react to it. Um, but if you are working with a, a pixel tile set like it has loads of awesome options for like um, like uh, how like the corners blend into one another, you can set it up to handle uh, slopes and stuff as well. If you're having diagonal slopes and things in your game, in fact, let me show you what the kind of default tile set looks like. Because it might be a bit of a better example. So when you first load up Auto Tile Gen, this is the first tile set that it, like it shows you by default, right? So it's just kind of like a like a, a stone-based um, like pixel tile set. And then playing around with like the different blend modes and stuff, um, the different like mask shapes and things, you can see kind of more what these options were kind of more designed for and what they're kind of meant to do. Um, all these little handy icons kind of show you how everything works, and so on and so forth. You can go in and also there's like a pixel 
like drawing editor, which again, it's only really useful if you're drawing, if you're working with kind of like um, very very small resolution kind of artwork. Like like these, this would be really useless for kind of editing my my sp like tiles from another perspective. But generally, the idea, if you wanted to use it for that sort of thing, you would generate it, then clean it up yourself in something more advanced like Photoshop or something like that later. But um, here, if you are making pixel font, like it's really awesome because you can edit it on the fly inside of the program, then instantly go back and see the effect like right away. Um, like you can play it. Like there's an auto mask jet. Like these alpha masks can be generated automatically from inside the software, which is totally awesome as well. Like you can build like that one, make that a bit smaller or whatever, and you can instantly sort of see the effect that changing those alpha masks has on your different tile sets. And then if you, you change uh, the preview mode like this, this shows you what the final tile set is going to look like. And you can actually arrange these tiles however you like in the tile set. So you might remember from my auto tiling tutorial, like I showed you a method that uses an image of this exact sort of size and sort of uh, like layout um, to generate uh, all the different uh, tiles, and the only like problem with that tutorial was that like the tiles had to be in a very specific order, right? And generally, that's always going to be true, no matter what sort of solution you use for um, like work, like the actual code of working out which tiles should be where, and so on and so forth. Um, but the awesome thing about this software is you can kind of arrange the tiles as you want. So no matter what your code is for sorting out automatic tile generation, which order like the tiles have to be in, you can just set them up to be in that order after you've like generated them all which is really awesome. And then like if I go if I give this like a name like default and then like save the tile set and like open that folder. You can see it just saves it out like that and then you can just stick it straight into Game Maker just using the um, like the sprites like load from tile uh, load from sprite strip. Like uh, I can quickly demonstrate that now I guess. Hang on. I'll go to insert sprite and go to load sprite. Oh no, not load sprite go to edit sprite, file, uh, create from strip, and then bring in that image as I had before. Um, you can see it's, it's brought it in here, and then I would say there's going to be 48 images overall, images per row, I think it's 8, like that, and import it as that tile set. You can even, like, there's even options for including, like, the, the texture, like, separation and stuff like that for different kind of programs and things as well, which is pretty cool. And it imports it, like, just like that. So that's how kind of Game Maker makes use of that. And then also built uh, bundled along with uh, auto tile gen um, is sort of a set of things called auto tile set. Um, one of them is there's a there's a game maker folder inside of like the, the file directory for auto tile gen that has this GMX file that I've got open here that I'm kind of showing you this in. That already has like a 16 by 16 tile set that was made with uh, auto tile gen and like um, a test room with the, these objects set up and they're set up very much like uh, the blocks that I made for my auto tiles tutorial um, and you run the game and you can see how it works and you can see how you would integrate kind of um, a tile set from auto tile gen straight into a game maker game which is pretty awesome like I was really surprised by like just the number of really cool little options that are going on in here and then you can click this and get some more advanced options as well um, and I can definitely see like pixel artists and stuff making a lot of use of this type type of thing. Um, you can generate it really quickly, and then you can go in, you can clean up everything you need to, you get it all in the right order. Um, just going to speed up your workflow quite a lot. It's really really awesome. Probably less recommended if you're doing something um, higher res or whatever, where like um, like the blend modes and stuff won't be as useful, and you'll need to do a lot more cleaning up work yourself. Um, but if you're working at a low resolution, like 32 or 16 by 16, um, like this tool will be super, super solid, and I can definitely see myself making a lot of use of it. If I had any complaints with it, I'd say like um, just from the little bit I've used it, like some of the like the UI feels a little unpolished in places, or a little bit like not entirely intuitive. Like if I go to like load. Um, like a sprite or something like that. There's like the, the loading menu is like like this and sometimes like the directory numbers like go over the edge and um, like it's just like a list of files and you, you can't see like thumbnails or anything like that. There's no like error checking either if you load in an image that's like too large or something like that. It just like just ignores you and doesn't like say like something's gone wrong and like if you're an idiot like me that can take you a while of being like oh, why didn't it do the thing or whatever. Um, there's not necessarily a lot of explanation of what all these tools do, and there's a lot of just, you kind of have to experiment to kind of learn how to use it. Um, like I click the, the 
the help button and the support thing, but it took me to like a, I could not find a, a web page for it. Um, but um, the dude's on Twitter who makes it, so if you have any problems with it, you could also probably just ask him. Um, so yeah, other than just like being a little bit hard to work out initially, and like the UI just kind of being like not super optimal. I think this was made in Unity as well. I think the tool itself was made in Unity, and it supports Unity as well. So if you use Unity, like this also works for that, and it has like a plugin built in, so you can automatically place the tiles, and it's super awesome like that. Um, yeah, overall, I forgot what I was saying there, but overall, I think it's a really, really solid tool. It costs about twenty-two pounds, I think, on Steam. I don't know how much it costs in dollars or different currencies. But um, while it seems a little on the expensive side, I think like for the amount of time it could save you, especially if you work with this specific type of um, like tile set a lot, um, it's going to save you a lot of time, and I think it's really awesome. And as I said, um, I'll be doing um, a simple tutorial video once I'm really, really comfortable with the software and like really feel like I know it inside out um, on like building a tile set from scratch, we'll do all the artwork as well in the video, we'll build it into auto tile gen, and we'll get it into game maker and we'll see it working. Um, and that's that, that's auto tile gen, looks really cool, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, any other tools you guys want me to check out by the way, if you know of anything you think is really cool and other people could benefit from, just leave it in the comments below and I'll give it a look. Um, I have a couple of other things lined up as well, um, for this sort of series on tools and things like that. And uh, yeah, I hope it goes well and I hope it's useful for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, see you guys next time.